Hey guys, it's Chris from Sketch.com. Today we're going to be going over the grab tool in Blender. Now I'm using 2.53 beta, but you can use any 2.5 release. This also works for 2.49 and previous. So open up Blender, and we're just going to have the original cube in the scene here, and all we're going to do is push G. Now as we move our mouse back and forth, you can see that the cube moves. But if we move it over here, you can see it's about four blender units in front of the green line. And if we move it over here, you can see it's about four behind. So if we just click and hit Alt-G to clear the position, we can now hit G and then hit X to constrain it to the X axis. So now we can put it as far forward or as far backward as we want to. This also works for the Y and the Z axis. Now we're just going to do Alt G to clear and I'm going to rotate my cube a little bit just so you can see this next example. And all we're going to do is hit G X X and you can see that the line changes and now it's constrained to the relative X axis. You can also do this for the Y and the Z. But what is the relative x-axis? If we clear by pushing Alt-G, I'm just going to clear rotation by pushing Alt-R. You can see this x-face right here. And as I rotate, you can see that now the x-face is over here. So if I hit G, X, it'll move it along this but if I hit X again, it'll now move it along the relative X axis. So, I'm just going to clear that. Alt G, Alt R. And then the next thing we're going to go over is constraining to two axes. So if you hit G, and then shift, and the axis you don't want to move on. So we're going to hit X. So now it's constrained to the Z and Y. You can see this is very similar to before. If we hit Shift Z, it'll constrain it to X and Y. And if we hit Shift Y, it'll constrain it to X and Z. Alt G to clear. You can also move it along any number of Blender units. So if you hit G and type in 1, it'll move it forward. I type in a 2 after that, it moves it 12 forward. So we're just going to clear this. And if we want to move it in a specific direction, we can hit G, X. Actually, that's a bad example. So G, Z. And we're going to hit 2. And see, it goes 2 up. So if we click and we hit G, Z and put negative 2, it'll go down to. So that's grabbing a nutshell.